Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at the poster problem and here we have what's supposed to be a poster and there is a certain area where we're going to print material and then we're going to have a border around it where there's no printed material. So the assumption is that the area of this region is going to be 50 and that we're going to have a border on the left and right by, that's two inches long and a border top and bottom which is three inches long. So, okay, we know that's supposed to be 50. Uh, of course, there's a lot of different ways that we could have an area of 50, have this border 2, have this border 3. Right? So I can move this around. and I get a lot of different configurations that keep that working. All right, well, let's see if we can uh, think about this in a more systematic way. So, for instance, uh, we might as well give a name to the sides here of the rectangles. We call that X and say the, the height of this rectangle will be Y. So we know, well, the area is 50, but the area is also X times Y. So add that in. And actually, immediately that tells us if we divide by X, that Y can be simply written as 50 over X. So if we didn't want to write Y, we, we could avoid it. We can just write 50 over X. Okay, well, that's one. Uh, one thing we have. On the other hand, we also can talk about the perimeter of this whole poster. So we know, uh, of course, going across, you have this 2 here. You're going to have x going across and then another 2 on the other side. So the length of the top and the bottom will be 2 plus x plus 2, or 4 plus x. And on the side, you have a 3, whatever y is, and then another 3. So you get uh, 3 plus 3 or rather 3 plus y plus 3, which is 6 plus y. Of course, there's not just one side, there's another. So the entire perimeter will end up being twice this 4 plus x, that gives you the top and the bottom, and twice 6 plus y, that gives you the left and the right. Okay, we do a little algebra, a little distribution, and then we remember that, oh, we actually know what y is. y is 50 over x. So we can replace y with 50 over x, and simplifying once again, now we should make that equal. Uh, we get 20 plus 2x plus 100 over x. All right, in the SQL video, I'll show you how we can minimize this perimeter by keeping the same area.